Hello and what is up my Cancer friends? Guess what time it is? It's full moon time. We have a full moon this weekend, so this is your full moon tarot reading. If you're new to the channel, hi, hello, my name is Melissa and I like to do the zodiac readings according to the new moon and the full moon. So we're going to look at the peak of the cycle. I also am here to hopefully spark something that'll help you on your journey, be that through these tarot readings, current event tarot readings, witchy unboxing videos, and also Metaphysical Mondays. The next one will be, uh, I think, one or two Mondays away, and we're going to talk about altars and creating an altar for yourself. Uh, so let's get into your reading. I'm using a spread that I created myself for the full moon. So we're going to look at the energy leading up to the full moon this weekend, and then we're going to look at what's peaking at that full moon. And then we're going to look at what that brings with it and how you might be able to take advantage of this opportunity. So leading up to the full moon. Oh, no, no. Well, we have the five of cups and the three of swords, guys. Oh, who hurt you? Uh, something happened here. I feel like that leading up to this full moon is um, a healing journey. This is, you know, there's still two upright cups back here, but the focus here is not on those. So it's, it's like, and then of course we all know the heartbreak card, the, the trauma card. But when I see this, I feel the message is to heal. So, um, there is a lot to be healed from. And I feel like, uh, this full moon might hit hard. Um, I, like, I don't even want to say a whole lot about those cards. We don't, we all know what that looks like. Right. Um, so I feel like there's like some broken hearted energy here. Um, but something that we don't uh, talk about often enough with this card is that it is a suit of swords. This is the air energy. This is your thoughts. This is communication. This is learning. This is lessons. Okay. And that's why I bring it to healing. I feel like there's a lesson learned here or a lesson to be learned. And I feel like learning that lesson will aid in the healing. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I always want to, I, I want to remind you that this is a swords energy. So this is about your head. This is about your thoughts. And this is about, um, this isn't about your feelings as much as you might want to think it is because of the visual involved and the um, reputation of this card, but it is the suit of swords. So this is more about how you're logicking the heartbreak or how you're thinking about it or, you know, what your ideas are going forward and the lessons that come with this heartbreak. Um, we do have that cup energy here though. So in combination, I feel like that is definitely indicating like someone like really got you in the feels, um, or something maybe, um, this could be very loss related as well. Okay. Mourning a loss here. This is like mourning energy. So this doesn't have to be romantic relationship related. This could be any type of relationship. I feel like whatever this trauma is that, you know, the reputation of this card brings with it, um, because, you know, once we give it that energy, it does possess that energy. Um, I feel like this is more related to a loss. So let's see what the full moon is hopefully bringing something good. The Knight of Cups. I feel like there's a rescuer here. I feel like somebody is coming in and offering condolences is the first word that popped in. Um, there's an, there's an offer and it has to do with feelings. So there may be a, a coach or somebody that can come in and help you. This could be a therapist. Okay. That is coming in to help you with your emotions. This doesn't necessarily need to be an offer of love, but the, the, the energy of the cups is it's the water sign or water sign it's the water suit which the water is your emotions this is things flowing for you um and i feel like this the, like this could be a person coming in to help you kind of redirect the flow of your emotions 
Um, so this could be like, in, he's facing away from these, right? So it's almost like leading your feelings away from the hurt. Um, and what are we leading toward? The Justice card and then the King of Cups. Okay. Well, this just kind of took a little turn. Um, whatever this hurt. Okay. I really feel like this is a loss, like a loss of a loved one, um, a loss of something that was very meaningful to you. Okay. Um, but I, I feel like somebody or something, a situation that doesn't, the Knights, the score cards don't have to be people. Um, but very specifically what I'm feeling is like a loss of a loved one and somebody coming in to help you deal with your grief, but also the justice card is getting what you deserve. So I feel like whatever this knight is and we got knight, justice, king. Okay. I feel like this could be somebody that can help deal with whatever caused the loss and this could be if I a very specific scenario that I'm getting and it doesn't have to be your specific scenario however it relates um, but like the scenario that I feel is um, losing someone that you loved tragically and them getting you know the I feel like it was purposely I don't want to say some like algorithmy triggery words um but the you know this could be somebody getting what they deserved that caused a loss in your life um so i won't go super specific like i thought i would um but i i feel like there's a loss in your life and um somebody kind of coming along and helping you to um make sure that the cause of the loss um that's what they deserve. Uh, so, but the other side of this also feels like with the Knight and the King of Cups is a progression from, so if we look at the court cards as stages in life, we have the page is going to be, you know, the youth, the learner, the apprentice, he's trying to learn, he, they are trying to learn their way up the ranks in the court, right? So the page is learning to be a knight. The knight, once the knight masters their kind of duties, then they progress to the queen energy. And then from the queen, once they know how to um, use their emotions to lead, then they master that and then they become the king. That's not how it really works in that, in the court system. But if we, that's kind of how I see the progression of the court cards and the, it's like the knight kind of skips the queen energy because of something that happens that tips the scales and is almost like promoted to king. Um, so it's like whatever this traumatic stuff that happened, I feel like the lesson becomes learned. That's also getting what you deserve. Um, it's It's kind of like giving me learning the lesson helps you progress you faster than you would have if you had not gone through this three of swords energy. Um, like this three of swords energy is like skipping you a, a grade level. Um, you know, like you did really well on a test in third grade. So the next year they said, you know what? We don't think that you should go in fourth, fourth grade. You're ready for fifth grade. We're just going to skip that straight to fifth grade. Um, because you learned so much in third grade and I feel like this is third grade, right? You have gone through something awful and because of the depth of the, the trauma, I feel like it has kind of really, um, like hit the fast button, the, the fast forward button. And you've been like fast tracked into this emotional stability position. Um, so I feel like dealing and healing with this, whatever this loss is that I'm feeling for you, um, it feels like this was necessary. You would have had to go through several smaller traumatic events to progress this way. 
um, where whatever this big loss is, it kind of like kickstarted you up the stairs. Like the visual that I'm getting is Mario. Like, okay, if you're young, you're not going to get this, but the original Mario, like you held down the B button or the fire button and it made you go really, really fast or the star that like made you be able to go through things and they just bounced off of you. Um, that's kind of, I feel like had you not gone through this horrible event or, um, this loss in your life, uh, you would have, you would have had to jump over many more hurdles or turtles, duck turtles. All right. Um, I, I need to go play video games or something, but that's kind of what I'm getting here. Like it was a necessary step to, to get you to the place that you deserve to be. That's the other side of possibilities of what this full moon, um, is showing us. So, uh, that's what I'm getting. We are past our 10 minute tarot. These 10 minute tarots today have been 11 minutes. Um, but yeah, that's the full moon energy I'm seeing for you. It's a time of healing. It's a time to progress to a place that you deserve to be in your own heart and in your, like, you're going to be, you're going to be in your feels. Like, I feel like this full moon is going to be an emotional drain on you, but it's, it's a way for you to heal more deeply or fully here um, so that you can progress from the Knight of Cups to the King of Cups because you deserve to be in a healthy emotional place. So um, that's what I'm getting for you. So keep an eye this weekend on opportunities to deal with your feelings because I feel like that's what's coming for you. Um, always remember that the magic you seek is within you. Have a blessed day.